Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. If you've been using another program like Asana or ClickUp or Trello and you're kind of tired of having to bounce back and forth between multiple programs to manage your projects, I've got great news for you. The team at Design Files has been making some incredible updates to our task management features. And I thought I'd put together a quick video to show you how you can now replace Asana or Trello or ClickUp by using the Design Files task management feature. And the great news about that is that it'll allow you to have all of your project details and all the information that you need in one place. So let's go ahead and I'll just jump right in and I'm going to use this project as my example. But first and foremost, I just wanted to let you know that with the new task management feature within Design Files, you've got two ways that you can look at it. If I want to go into a specific project and see the individual tasks for this particular project, I can go to the project navigation and I'll see tasks right up here. So I can click into this and it's going to show me all the tasks I have on the go for this specific project. But if you love the idea of being able to just see all the tasks that you have on the go for any given project, you also have your global task option up here. And if I click into this, it's going to allow me to see all the tasks that I have on the go for all of my projects. And I'd be able to narrow that down by project, by designer. So if you've got additional team members and you're assigning certain tasks to them, you can narrow it down by designer. You can also narrow it down by priorities and incomplete versus completed tasks. And over here, you also have a search bar. So you can just use that and add in any keywords to find a, a specific task as well. Now, before I get into the global view, let's go ahead and we're going to jump directly into one of your projects. And let's say that I want to set up specific tasks for this Kane Home project. So one of the great things about kickstarting any project is to kickstart it with your detailed task list. And that will ensure that whenever you are starting a brand new project, you've already laid out all the individual tasks that you need to take care of for that project and nothing's going to start falling through the cracks. So if I click into tasks here, you'll see that my task feature is broken down into a number of different columns and you can customize this fully to your own workflow. So the titles that I've added here, if you don't want to use those, that's totally fine. You can just click into it and add your own title. And when you log in, you'll probably see that you've got maybe three different columns here and the ability to add additional ones. So you can just add in any additional columns that you want and title them as well. Now, if I want to add a brand new task, I can do it in a couple of ways. You're going to see that there is the option up here to add a task or I can just click on these little uh, plus icons right here above any of the columns to add an individual task to that column. And if I do choose to add a task, let's just click on this. We'll just call this sample task for now. Add that in. When I click out of the field, it'll show like this. And then I can click directly into the task and I can start adding in additional details. So here's where I could choose to assign it to a specific team member. I can select a due date for this task, set a priority. I can add any additional notes that I want to add to it. So if there's certain things that I want to remind myself of or a team member of, I can go ahead and add that here. And I can also add subtasks. So if this is a larger task and you want to break it down into bite-sized pieces, just click here to add a subtask. You can type in your note. I'm just adding gibberish for now. And I can add as many subtasks as I want. Okay, so you would just type into the field, hit enter on your keyboard, and it's going to add that subtask in. And if I start checking these off, you'll see my progress bar starts to go across here, letting me know how much of this has been taken care of and what's still remaining. Now down here, I can also add additional attachments. If there's certain documents or images or details that I want to include within this task, I can add it here. And I can also leave comments for team members as well. So if I want to chat about a specific task with a team member, I can just use the, I'm going to add in the at symbol and then I can tag in specific team members and leave notes for them as well. And the nice thing about that is that if you do this, the team member is going to get notified by email. So they're always going to know when you've added a note and the notification will also show within their account up here. So where we've got that little bell icon here for any notifications, they'll also get a, not a notification there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. And you can see that when I close out of the task, it's showing how many uh, subtasks I have here, how many of them are complete, who the designer is that's going to be working on this particular task, the priority and the date. 
and I can start clicking and dragging these tasks through the columns as I complete them. And once I get all the way over here to complete it, I can also check this off as done and it'll show as grayed out. Now, you could absolutely just continue to create individual tasks if you like, but if you find that your projects are pretty much following the same workflow, then what you can also do within design files is create templated tasks. And the beauty of this is that it means that you're just going to be able to create these templated tasks once and then duplicate them into future projects. So you don't have to spend the time to manually set up your tasks for each project that you take on. So here's how that works. If I wanted to create a templated task, I would just use the, or click this button right here to use a template. You can see here that I've already created a number of them and I can manage my templates right here. So I'm going to click into that. Now these are, these are the ones that I've already created, but I could absolutely go ahead and create a brand new one. But let's go into this one right here because you can see that I've actually added in a number of smaller tasks within this task list. So if I click into this to edit this task template, you can see here that this is my onboarding task list and I've already listed out a number of things that I need to take care of for any project onboarding phase. So you can go ahead and you can create your detailed list. You can click into any of these if you need to edit them or make any changes to them. And once you have these templated tasks set up, here's how you can start adding those to future projects. So I'm going to go back to the projects page right here. We're just going to create a brand new project. I'll just call this sample project for now. Okay, we're going to create our project. And if I want to just kickstart this project right out the gate with adding in a specific task list, I'll go into my tasks. I'm going to go over here to use my template and here I can start selecting them. So let's say I want to just go ahead and add my onboarding task list. I'll click that. Everything's going to fill in for me. So I don't have to go ahead and create this from scratch each time. And now that these have all been added in, I can start editing these to add specific due dates for this particular project and assigning certain team members to take care of it. So definitely, if you haven't um, given this feature a try, go ahead, jump into your design files account and just test this out on your next project. It's going to really allow you to get that nice organized list of individual tasks that you need to take care of for your projects and you can template it all out so you don't have to keep creating them one at a time. Now, for this particular project, I'm going to go back to the cane one because Whenever I am creating tasks for my projects, one of the other things that I just want to bring to your attention is that any of the tasks that you create are going to start showing up in your calendar here. So if you can see the ones that are already here, and if I jump forward into the next month, here's all the other tasks that I've set up. So you and your team can come in and you can view your calendar and see what needs to be taken care of on any given day. And of course, you can switch that from month to week to specific day. So you have your different views over here. So you can use your calendar view or you can choose to use your task view to see all the tasks that you have on the go. And if you do have a preference for having more of a list view instead of this Kanban view up here, you're going to see that you can switch from list mode to board mode. So if I go to list mode, this is what it's going to look like, or it's just going to list all the tasks that I have on the go. If you prefer that Kanban mode, just switch over here and you'll be able to start adding in your individual tasks to, to certain columns and move those tasks through the columns as you complete them. Okay, I think that about covers it. So yeah, if you haven't given this feature a try, jump in, give it a go. If you're using something like Asana or ClickUp or Trello, you're gonna get all that same functionality within design files. And now you can keep all of your project information in one place instead of wasting your time bouncing back and forth between other platforms. Of course, if you have any questions at all, always reach out to us on the live chat. We are always happy to help. And if you have any further thoughts for how we could improve this even more, then let us know. We are all ears. Thanks for watching.